Today we are reviewing 2019 Ninja 400 and we have a special guest. We're riding with Jennifer from Wayne Cycle just to prove that she does ride when you go talk to her. Uh, really that Jennifer I guess this is like the first first ride from 2019 right? Yeah I think so. Yeah so everything else was before so new season. Let's get this thing started. What are you riding? Uh, also a Ninja 400, but... Yeah, it's a lowered uh, 2018 Ninja KRT edition. Nice. And it dropped about two and a half inches. So see? <laughs> <laughs> and this is completely stock. Zero miles on it. Uh, it's actually pretty out today, too. It's like, I don't even have to wear my winter gloves. I got a t-shirt on underneath my jacket. I could probably squid today if I wanted to. Oh yeah. One thing I love about the ninjas, the beginner ninjas, is they're so upright and comfortable, even for like a sporty style bike. So Jennifer says we're gonna go up 250 over Afton. Now the last time I rode a 400 was rolling on two wheels is 400 and that was like over a year ago now and I gotta say I loved that thing when I rode it and we were just riding around back in a little industrial park I was teaching him cl clutch ups actually but the thing I like best oh there she goes up oh, full top <laughs> The thing I love about these is you can flog on them and you don't have to worry about going too illegal with them. You know, they still got great pickup. You don't get bored with them quick at all. You know, me, you know, I ride the FZ, you know, I've ridden quite a few super sports and everything else. And I still come back to these things and love them. You know, like it's not lacking on power or fun. That is one thing I absolutely love about this little bike. I am definitely, oh, I need to fix my mirrors. My bug antenna mirrors here. Still can't see nothing. There we go. All right, now we're better. A little bit better. You and your rice are flyby. <laughs> you gotta do a wheelie? <laughs> are you gonna do a wheelie? No. <laughs> no. And you know, I love, even with a stock exhaust where it's really quiet, man, these things still sound good when, when you wind them out. They've got an awesome little sound to them for, you know, a little parallel twin. It still gets up and screams pretty good. You figure red line is 12. Uh-oh, rice on rice action here. Rice on rice action. <laughs> oh, I still can't see nothing behind me. <laughs> oh, we're both high visiting it today. We are not squids. Talking more about the the 19 Ninja 400. Um, they definitely, definitely are taking more styling cues off of the H2, which you know is awesome for me. What is this person doing? That is not a merge lane. That is not a merge lane. Yeah, they're taking more styling cues off of the Ninja H2, or the, the H2, which it looks awesome. I, I really think that's, because I mean, if you remember back in the day, you know, the old Ninja 250s, 500s, and stuff like that, man, they, they just looked bubbly and awkward in 80s, because they never really updated too much. Um, and it just, it looked like a played out design, you know? just look old and outdated and now they're like 
Hey, that's the horn. Uh, now they're just really like trying to make them look cool and more appealing. I like it. I love these little things. Oh, a lot of fun. oh yeah, because you can just flog them. Yeah, I mean, like, and honestly, it's a peppy little bike. We're cruising at 40 in fourth gear, 5,000 RPMs. There's a roll on the throttle. You go wide open throttle, and it accelerates good. I mean, it accelerates really good for being a little 400. There we go. At least I got one mirror where I can see back now. You know, like a decent little pull to it. You know, nothing, nothing's going to get away from you. I mean, this thing is just mad comfortable. Just cruising right on up, up the road, like 70, 80 miles an hour. You know, it feels very nice and steady. I mean, I'm cruising with like one hand. You know, this is just cruising. And the bike loves it. We'll back it off. Like, I don't, you know, the tires have five miles on them. And the road's wet and a little chilly, so... I mean, the bike is just so... So forgiving of a chassis on these little things, man. I love them. You know, great for beginners. Absolutely wonderful. I was actually talking to a guy that's looking at getting one as his first bike today and everything. He's coming back a little bit. He's, you know, waiting for his tax return. But, I mean, I told him, man, you're not going to get bored with these little things, man. Yeah, everybody tells you, oh, you start on a 600, you know. If you've never ridden on the road, these are great bikes to start on, man. You're not going to get bored with them. You know, and that's a lot of the appeal to it. To me, at least. I mean, you know, I had a little Ninja 500 that made about the same power as these things. Maybe a little bit less. And I wasn't bored with it. I mean, it wasn't as smooth of a bike, you know, with the fuel injection that this thing has. But, you know, like, I didn't get bored with it. I only went with the FZ because, you know, I wanted an FZ. I wanted a Hoon bike. Oh, man. Look at this fog up here. Look at this fog up here. This is sketch. This is sketch. I'm going to hop over here in this lane. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Bad. Bad SUV. Man, this is like, what is it? What's that movie? Um, Silent Hill. Complete with all the sketchiness and meth. <laughs> oh, this fog kind of put a dampener on things. These bikes, I, I can't get over them, man. Like, if you're looking for a sporty bike, you know, for your first bike, I highly, highly suggest these. On the simple fact of that it's such a forgiving chassis. It really is. You know, I actually, I, I really do recommend these to a lot of friends. You know, people that don't have any motorcycle experience. Because the, bike, the, the bike's not going to get away from you. You know, like, it might scare you, yeah, because you're new to new to it and everything. But it's not going to get, it's not going to jump out from underneath of you. The power doesn't come on abruptly. You know, none of the normal stuff you really have to worry about. There she be. This is the first time Jennifer's ever ridden with me, so <laughs> she'll have to get used to my weirdness. And yes, in case in case y'all are asking, yes, you can wheelie on a 400. Um, I am not allowed to do that on this um, because it's not my bike. It's for sale at Wayne Cycle Shop. They would get very mad if I wheelied it. 
That being said, yes, you can wheelie them. I mean, they're just so nimble too. They just lay them all over and everything else. Great bike. I mean, you're not going to get tired of this little bike. You know, yeah, you're going to want something more powerful eventually, but you're not going to like actually want to get rid of the bike per se. Again, big ups to Wayne's Cycle and for Jennifer for going on a ride. Check them out at waynecycle.com. Check them out on Instagram. Also, they do have an Instagram. Like and subscribe for sure. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll get so you get notified every time I upload something new. And uh, yeah, come back for the next ride.